Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2, where on the right side of the screen, you can see that I've gotten some new things. Uh, so, as you can see, I finally figured out how to get Zaid. Uh, turns out I had to get the Cerberus network access going, which is free now. Um, I think it was about, like, the whole, like, uh, online pass Cerberus network thing is free. Now, it was like a free, like a year after Mass Effect 3 came out or something. Um, but that means I got all the DLC that comes with that for free. Which includes the Normandy uh, crash site DLC, that's what it's called. Zaid. And something else. I did buy Overlord as well. Okay, sorry if there was any weird glitching on that. Uh, I'm currently trying to avoid updating the Elgato because it does horrible things every time I try to update it. Um, but yeah, so I got a bunch of new things and I would check the codex, but I'm sure that would just go horribly. Uh, <laughs> which is unusual. I do, I'm always, it, it's kind of starting to bug me now though. It's like, eh. Okay. The codex, I guess the codex probably won't have extra stuff, but we did get some new things. Alright. Okay. Project Firewalker. I don't know. That was free, too. Right. It was carrying some sort of researchers and a prototype planet side. Oh, okay. Yeah, they want us to use a new vehicle or something? Huh. Interesting. And then we have... No, we're not going to look at that too much. We're not going to look at it too much. Um... Ju okay, I was like, what? Just car? What? What we are gonna do, we're gonna freaky, we're gonna do, we're gonna do Miranda's and Jacob's because we have had their missions for ages and haven't done them. And I feel bad about that because usually I go through after like most missions and I'll go and talk to everyone, but I haven't been able to do that. There's really been no point. <laughs> um, and I really should probably change Shepard out of this dress because it's not professional, but she looks so freaking good in it. I don't like the one in Mass Effect 3. I think it looks retarded. Her arms Commander, are so much... Commander, you a new message at your private Sweet. terminal. Her arms look so much better in this. They look like noodles in the other one. It's really weird. I'm like, I guarantee you that Shepard, female Shepard, doesn't... She doesn't have to be, like... She doesn't have to be, like, buff, but she doesn't have to be, like, tiny. But she's gonna be buff. <laughs> like, if she's an N7, like, she's gonna be buff. Uh... Ah, red message. Whoa, okay, right. Oh, we get. I did download some of the free um, weapon stuff. We recently. From the elusive man, Shepard, who recently had an incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts in the Skillian Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you out to chase anything down. Our operators always did a highly successful battle against the Geth scouting party and credited their success to a new advanced electrical. La, 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 la. Guys, hack device that we finally let them take out of the lab. Since their unit is being reassigned for some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take us to do the weapon in the meantime. Weapon's called an arc projector. I sent it to the arm Normandy's armory so you can examine it for yourself and use it if you deem it worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests indicating overall kinetic barriers and synthetic enemies particularly well. But laboratory demonstrations are a poor substitute for actual physical parts. We know it works, and now you want to see what we can do in the right hands. If all goes well, you will use your tactics to train other operatives. I totally, like, tripped on some barbed wire today. And the back of my leg is like super bruised. I didn't, luckily I didn't slice myself open, but. Yeah, this Overlord thing. Shepard, one of our sales just went off the grid. That explanation, Project Overlord has been experimenting with highly volatile technology, and I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely compartmentalized. Enough that I cannot divulge operational details over this channel. You'll find them on the planet Ate, Typhoon System, in the Phoenix Massing Cluster. Please use care no matter. Oh, yeah, and, uh, ha, 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 ha. Elizabeth Shepard, our armor technicians heard you were back in action. Yeah, I forget, because you're the one who put me back in action. No, I am, fortunately, we know your size. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> they rebuilt me from the ground up. Nice. <laughs> I just can't see the armada system. I've turned up something without you should see. On a location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. I thought those news might be important to you, but we have an ulterior motive. Poof! The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. Who said- Oh, this is from Admiral Hackett! Command Commander 
Shepard! Why does he still call me commander? I'm not a commander! There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack on the Normandy. If you find any signs of those lost crewmen, we ask that you report to the Alliance so those heroes' families might find some closure. You still haven't found 20 people? I thought everyone said that every, every, most everybody got out fine except for freaking Jenkins, or not Jenkins, the other one who died and no, Jenkins died in Mass Effect 1, but the other guy died in Mass Effect 2. Uh, <laughs> I will do that soon, but oh my gosh. I'm bringing Tally and Garrus with me on that one. Project Firewalker. This is exciting, too. We got a couple, like, new missions and stuff. Like, we got a new friend. I say friend hesitantly. From Project Firewalker Commander, the MSV Rosalie, a survey ship with Cerberus connections, has gone missing. The survey team was field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planet Side Exploration Rover. In addition, scientist Dr. Manuel Case and Dr. Robert Oloy are aboard the MSV Rosalie and conducting research for us. We need to find the sur ship, her survey team, and the doctors. Was last seen near planet Zenoa, Elistia, Isma Frontia. From the Mr. Man. Shepard, we've reached an agreement with veteran mercenary Zaid Massini. You may know the name. Zaid has been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations of the Terminus systems. And his spirit is a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with the skills in your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. You will find him on Omega, where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fee, I've taken care of that personally. Why? This guy seems like such a loose cannon, like, even more than anybody else in this, like, there's like, there's like the good loose cannons, and then there's the actual loose cannons. Ah! <laughs> when we open this up, it's gonna, like, blow up in our face. Oh my gosh. What are we doing? Why are we in Seoul? What are we doing in Seoul? Why are we in the local cluster? I don't understand! What, what were we doing last time? We weren't here! What are we doing here? Did the game just decide to boot me out here? Why? There was one right here, too. That was like a rival, I think. Oh my gosh! Oh, I've lost my cursor! I can't see anything! Oh god, this is the Valhallen Threshold! Cool! Hell no, oh god, who's. Where's Ilium? Oh, wait, no, 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 who was first? Jacob was first. Help, Jacob, where is even this planet? <laughs> I don't even. Is it this one? Or is it. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> hey, that's only one flag out here, so we'll get rid of one whole flag. Isn't that nice? Uh. Hey, the iridium rich planet that, uh. Oh my gosh, I forgot her name. She is Omega. She gave us that one, I think. She gave us the coordinates to the... Or no, that was because of the Shadow Broker delay. She gave us, like, a, um... A treasure or something? I can't remember. Maybe it was just a such and such. Okay, here we go. Freaking Jacob, the guy that freaking nobody really cares about. <laughs> The best thing you can say about Jacob is that he's a nice guy. And that's fine. That is totally fine. But, yeah, I'm still commuting for, for, for archaeology work. Uh, but today, I didn't realize until, like, just, like, a few minutes ago, the back of my leg is, like, a big, massive bruise. Help, Jacob. Alpha Draconis. like the, the systems, the nebula. Nebulae. 2175, a This is a survey planet. I have detected an anomaly. Yes, you have. Named after an Asari scientist, this remote planet appears to have been one on the list of forbidden, on the list of forbidden mass relays that led to uncharted space. The little data available comes from one far off probe flyby that reports two planets orbiting a white dwarf star. Your own scans yield far more interesting results. The planet is within the habitable zone of the star. It has oceans of liquid water and a thin nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere consistent with carbon-based plant life. It is possible this is an as-yet unexplored garden world. Well, while 
we have this because I know we need some of that. I can afford. We can't. We wait, 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 wait. Before we go anywhere, <laughs> if I can afford that, I'm going to do that right now. Yeah. That was kind of scary. Prototype. Oh, and I should check, um, the, uh, weapons thingy really quick. Where is it? Oh, is it, is it armor? No. I can afford a tech cooldown, though. Sure. Element zero. Where's heavy's... It said I could afford a heavy skin weave. That's weird. Okay, well, I'm gonna get some heavy palladium before... We go outside, because I've been trying to get that heavy skin weave for ages. No messages for you, Commander. Thank you, my personal little VI. My human VI. Boop. Anomaly detected. I'm fully aware. First, let me eh. Launching probe. I just need five. Oh my gosh. I'm fully aware that there's an anomaly. Maybe this will be enough. Oh dang it. it looks like it might. Oh, okay. Well, okay, might as well, I guess. Oh, come on. There is. Well. Eh? Oh, wait. Oh, it gave me enough on the... Okay. Okay. That was really weird that it told me I could afford it when I couldn't. Heavy skin wave. Plus 40 health. Done. I want the shotgun extra rounds so bad. It takes so long to get the enhancements and stuff. Okay, let's go check out this dealy. Hey, Jacob. Soon, my friend, we can chat. Project. Oh my gosh! That looks like the one, the, the Solarian one in Mass Effect 3. Ionizes targets with a non visible laser to ready them for a high voltage electrical attack as a lightning light bolt is for a target. Sophisticated auto targeting system paints succeeding targets with the ionization laser. The lightning electricity takes the path of least resistance and arc between them. An entire enemy strike can be shocked to death with a few pulls of the trigger. Okay, so we'll work on organics too, not just synthetics. I'll use that. Cool. And that 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 replaces my. That doesn't even look like a heavy weapon. I wonder what it'll look like on my back. Oh wait, 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 wait. Can we see it? No, nope, can't see it. Hmm. Oh. Oh man, he's got a pretty good view. Look so sexy in my dress. Maybe, maybe, maybe Shepard's like, oh, maybe, maybe I should take Kasumi's advice and wear these things no more often. <laughs> so she just like wears them around the ship, and Kasumi's like, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> you, you shouldn't probably just wear them on a ship. <laughs> you will wear them out. <laughs> nah, Kasumi'd be like, where would you want? I have detected an anomaly. Uh, yeah, then she sounds a little bit miffed. She's like. Freaking, I've detected an, alum, an anomaly for the 30,000th time. Hey, and we get some Ezo. I have found something. Not that I need Ezo. So we couldn't just land, we had to send out a probe to look. Mechs will explode, but like, if you leave one like laying around almost dead, it'll explode. 
Pretty sure my shotgun does that, not with headshots, like just, you know, like, does it with, like, anything. Yes, Jacob is required. Shoo! Okay, how are we gonna do this? Um. Oof, Jacob has biotics. Karis dies a lot. I don't know why. I never get. I never can grasp having. A Mass Effect 3, Garrus did a good job. Garrus was with me a lot. But. Oh, I just wish I could keep bringing Grunt out. Like, Grunt was like the one I. Grunt thing or people, people I brought out all the time. Maybe I'll bring out Kasumi? Just for kicks? She likes Jacob. That's a horrible, horrible mentality to have when you're freaking on hard mode. Look at all that Paragon, but look at that Renegade. More than we had in Mass Effect 1. I think last time I got it almost all the way up to the second little line. <laughs> oh, shoot, Jacob. Well, let's get your Cerberus operative out of the way. We'll increase your... So we're gonna have 10, 10, difference of 10 on health, or, oh, well. Yeah, we'll do, yeah, we'll do that. Um, shoot, we could fully upgrade incendiary ammo. Or we could fully upgrade pull. Let's do a pull. Heavy pull or pull field. Let's do heavy pull. Because again, from as far as I'm aware, the the like mass abilities, like ones that can just pick up a bunch of husks and throw them, are completely useless in hard mode because everything's got armor or shields and you can't use pull on either of those. So you have to whittle them down before you can actually use these abilities, you know what I mean? Yeah, we'll just do heavy pull. Okie dokie, Smokies! I do like this planet. Couple of moons. I have run a scan of the ship. I detect no life signs, but there may be useful technology or Why are you leaving? Silence. Why are you leaving? Usually the shuttle stays behind us to block us off from going anywhere. But luckily the shuttle dropped us off in a place where Okay, the water is Oh, and it's even splashing up against the debris. Well that debris. That's close enough to the shore. The water is actually an oil field! Oh my gosh! I think her hair is brown, but it kind of has a reddish tint in some lights. There it is. Mostly intact. Could have spotted it. Hey. What an interesting name, Gernsback. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. Have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Hmm. Hey. Is that a rock? No bodies. Repeat. Toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local chlorochemically compatible. Uh huh. anymore. We've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It, it's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as you Uh-oh. 
Something is not right. Repeat. Toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. Uh oh. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Other flagged issues. Who is in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted in field to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical Ooh. recommended suborbital velocity. This ship is like velocity. too big to be the making Hugo a Gernsback then planet land. At 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Mm. So most people died in the descent. That's this was like a colony ship, wasn't it? I think he said, like a like an inve a planet investigative thing. What did they? I ne I'm never. I don't know if they ever tell you what they actually collided with or what caused the problem. Hmm. I mean, colonization, planet colonization, is a cutthroat business. As what it said in the codex, I think at one point is like you know, worse. You know. Worst atrocities sometimes have been not. Worse. I don't know what I'm trying to say there. I don't know. Horrible atrocities have been committed in the name of trying to claim a planet for one species or another. You know. Local food impairs brain function. <laughs> what are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days seven of ingesting days. local Shoot. flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. So they were collecting the data on the VI. They weren't just like having, they weren't just like, woohoo, you know. Obviously somebody was very cognitive while others were not, according to that recording back there. Wait, Local food ah. impairment. Imp it is not known if neural decay is permanent. Why wasn't Data the collect. beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours. Following so this the was the ship VI too, or the no? Gernsback, activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of acting captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Well, who was trying to get, I can't, like, like, was somebody trying to get a message out and then he deleted it, or what? Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. Mm -hmm. There's no way we're eating something grown on this planet. Yeah, not after so long. I mean, really. I thought they'd have, like, maybe, like, all the food processor, like, the food, like, Star Trek food thingies would be, uh, ah, not safe. Would have broke or stopped working after a while or something. No bodies here, though. There's parts. And, and hay? Is that hay? It's like medical stuff. Surprise, this is weird. She could throw up the report if I didn't stop sending messages. Uh-huh. Sure easier now. What's the harm? We're stuck here. Looks like some very, very unpleasant things are going on. And people given temporary power let it go to their head. Expect the 
luxury of doo-doo-doo do, do process, but this isn't a military ship. Just bumping the command line up a notch doesn't work. Ca Ca Captain Fairchild knew this crew, crew, crew. His replacement doesn't command the same level of respect. I'm hoping the man has it in him. Yeah, some people are like really good at being second in command, but not good at. Like, you can't just because you're second in command doesn't mean you make a good first in command. You know what I mean? I've always enjoyed being, like, second in command, you know? It's like, like, in that kind of situation, like, or not this kind of, I don't know. But, like, just in general, you know? It's like, I mean, being in charge is nice and all, but you got a whole lot more responsibility and paperwork to do. When you're second in command, you're, like, privy to the details of things. And you can help make decisions, but it's not necessarily on your head at the end of the day, you know what I mean? <laughs> is that bad? What? Was it all the flora on this planet? You know what I mean? I think that was everything. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I don't know why. Like, I feel like people should be saying something about this sort of a thing. Jacob, maybe not, but Kasumi should. Whoa, Kasumi, you're going the wrong way! Maybe be making little more remarks or something. Eh? Eh? Chest high walls. Okay. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. This wasn't a military ship. So your name and rank doesn't matter. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. You're uh, not- I- I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were- they were cast out. He exiled come on, come on, come on, come on. So they hunt Is his there machines like a and thingy? those who help him. They don't believe that rescue- Ah! Watch out! Okay! Hunters! They won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! They've seen us. Yeah, they have. Okay, the first time that ever happened, I didn't I never saw the uh the tr the trigger. And so I didn't realize, oh shoot, I actually meant to take away the flashbang grenade. Dang it. Um, I didn't realize that you could save her, and then it happened one time that I did, and I was like, oh, oh, oh. Jacob, you're an idiot! Oh my gosh, did you see that? Oh, no, Jacob, I'm not picking you up. These boxes are cursed. They're like, there's like one, like, there's like those two that are taller, so the shepherd go, go up and down. I think that's screwing up her, like, cover taking. Who has disruptor ammo? I don't think anybody has disruptor ammo. It might be a special, like a, 
loyalty ability, but... I don't know about this Zaid guy. I've seen a little bit about him. Plus, let's just uh, try to take him out. You alive, Jacob? You're not gonna die this time? Oh, let's try him! Um... Oh, now it's too late. Nope, actually. Surprisingly, that's not what I wanted to do. What I do. Yeah, I was trying to do that. Oh, I think I. Oh, I know what I did. Only five? Oh, I didn't I even see the arrow because it looks like I'm my back. Oh, okay, okay. But it wasn't close enough to somebody. Okay. Okay, look at that. That's pretty cool. Regular old crazy. You kill them, but there are more every day. They want to fight, but I just want to go home. She's lost. We need to find someone who can make sense of this. She's making perfect sense to me. She wants to go home. And these guys are losing it. Like, they're all losing it, and some of them are going feral. Strip mech. <laughs> Like a little fighter. Is that a settlement? They'd better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Aren't we all, man? They're wearing the same uniform as the ones who attacked us, but they don't look ready for a fight. Yep. <laughs> Kasumi and I are just chatting, yes, girl talk. Violent. That would make sense. But the woman on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To decay. You are cursed with his face. Uh-oh. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. <laughs> Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. See, it's kind of gone... Now he's kind of starting to question, like, you know, not just, I need to find my dad, but whatever's going on here needs to stop. Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like, that wasn't obvious enough. It obviously doesn't kill them, so it keeps them alive, but... Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. Shoot. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. You're kind of, you can kind of hope, though, that it's that something's been misunderstood, you know? Oh. It's like a giant meg. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. Like, is that, or is it, was they, like, are they trying to, like, make, like, a, um, 
It doesn't look like anybody. It looks like maybe they could have made it to, uh, like, call for help or whatever somehow. But I doubt that if what the situation is, what it sounds like. Obviously, I know what's going on, but I'm trying not to spoil things. But, uh, that, uh, I don't know. The, the person in charge probably wouldn't let them make something that would call for help, even in their own minds, you know? Even if it wouldn't actually do anything. He keeps us, protects us. Uh huh. And we please him like he demands. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. Yeah. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. I don't know why they're talking to me like that. I have a perfectly fine face. I in no way resemble Jacob's dad. What? Uh-oh. Wait, what? Why are we being attacked? I actually don't know why we're being attacked. Your something demands obedience, I get that. Captain- Oh, okay, so we have weapons, so we triggered their, uh... Their, their protocol. What I hate about mechs is they don't stop. They're, um... Thank you, Kazumi. He did this to his own men? Understandably, trying to find the devil's advocate answer is his dad. I mean, it could, like, like legitimately, like, I, I, I at the time, I was very 50-50. Like, I was like, I don't know, what if something went horribly wrong and this is just the best way to keep them safe? Like, I don't know. Like, I, I hope we got all the codex entry things for the logs. Please, here. Ah. You have his face, but you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read, but this was the start. What he promised and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Take him. What does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. The beacon was fixed after a year, so the plan must have worked. Why no signal? Those weren't the last entries on the casualty list. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women. Yep. Assigned them to officers. God like damn. Pets. Oh, and it's after just the beacon sick. is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. <laughs> After my father took control and didn't stop it. Mm -mm. Even at this point, I was hoping for the best, but honestly, this mission is horrifying. Like, I mean, the other ones are more personal in a way, you know, where it's like, oh, family, and this is family, but like, this is sick. This is what happens when you give a weak man or weak woman power. This is what happens when you give a weak person power. Somebody who's not ready for it. Or not even, just not able to handle it. <laughs> like, and like, in a situation like this, it just, oh. And these women, like, it's like freaking, ugh. <laughs> oh. I, ugh. Oh. Does it say why he separated the men and women? Or is it as bad as it seems? Yeah. No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, 
I'd say the hunter thing is recent. It, it could. He allowed here, Shepard. Yeah. I don't see any justification. I don't either. Honestly. Um, but, uh... It's true, like, the biological, chemical responses to things are different between men and women. And men do tend to react... They tend to default towards a violent state in a lot of cases. And women don't. But when a woman cracks, when a woman cracks and she goes crazy, they go off the charts crazy. Because it's like, it's like, it's like totally reversing everything in their psychology, you know, but. We haven't seen any other officers. Yeah, he killed them so he could have all the women to himself. There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. Like you think they would have that noticed month after the beacon was repaired. Because at that point he didn't want to go back. He was enjoying his life. Like he was enjoying his kingliness. And the only way it could have happened and him and the other officers are getting like the their women they wanted. It's just it's sick. It's sick. It's freaking sick. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic They didn't research started? that! Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's that left? That is true. Speaking? You'd never get out. It's true. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent yeah. until now. I'm starting to see Because now he's threatened. Now he's a little peaceful, idyllic world where he's king and can do horrible things to the other males who are like, he's like gone all territorial and stuff. Like, Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision. The initial was decision was a good the use of power one. Get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. Mm, he's got angry. Um, it's true. Like it's a hard decision, but it needed to be made. Like somebody, there need you need to ration the food that won't kill you or make your because who's gonna, who is gonna repair the beacon if everybody is like just you know off the rocker you know and you need to have at least a few you know because. Just like putting all your hopes on one person is a horrible idea. <laughs> this is a game shepherd. Uh, anyway, uh, no, but okay, this is bigger than I thought it would be. The arc reactor. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, your next time to explode. All right, I'm gonna call this one here. Um, I'm gonna go eat some food, but uh, then we'll get back and we're gonna freaking. I don't know what we're gonna do in this situation. I know what I did. Pretty sure I know what I did last time. Uh, don't know what I'm gonna do now. I might change it a little bit, but we'll see. Um, anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I will see you in the next one.